How's everyone doing? Welcome back to Bomb Boy. It's been millenniums since I played Bomb Boy. And I don't know. I don't know if we'll ever be the same playing Bomb Boy, man. Ever since the changes happened. What changes, you're asking? I don't know. I'm just making shit up. But welcome back. We're going to fight the Starcaller boss. One should take proper precautions before contacting the unknown. Send a signal into outer space on usable high in the Skylands. Guess where we're going? Skylands. I ain't talking about no Spyro. I ain't talking about no, no, what other, what other dudes are from Skylands? <laughs> I have no clue. Why is there like jungle over here? Is that really a far the jungle stretch? I don't know. It's been a while since I've been in this world. And I completely revamped the mod pack. And I decided probably for this character to not uh, make a new world. But definitely for the ranger make a new world. But we'll see. We will see where we go from here if things are bugged out and whatever and whatnot but let's head up here do i have something to get up there with oh i do look at that nice silky rope i'm doing it this way wow look how fast we went there wow <laughs> see i may or may not have uh, forgotten to bring stuff with me and now i really regret this <laughs> i think i just made a terrible decision okay time out here Come out here. Let's at least get a campfire. That's the best I can do right now. And then maybe build. Oh, here we go. We got apples. Apples should help. All right, let's see how this goes. So I don't get interrupted while doing this because there's some stuff going on in my house. But it's all good. Boom. Star Scouter. New mod pack, Star Scouter. So he doesn't have any prefixes or anything on him. It's all good. Been a while since I fought regular enemies. Do I have a dash? Oh, I do have a dash. Wait, am I an expert mode? <laughs> I don't know if I changed that. My boy, you gotta be a little bit faster than that. You gotta be a little bit faster than that. Speak about things being faster. It shoots extremely slow. <laughs> slow. It's all good. We'll, fi we'll figure it out. I hope. We don't have too many arrows. Flame arrows, that is, to work with. Hold up, I'm scratching my... Ah, I guess we'll just use grenades. Grenades will probably be our best bet against this guy. The best thing we can use to win. Ooh. He's going into second phase. He's got multiple phases here. Well, I guess I don't know if I call it a phase, but multiple attacks. Multiple dangerous attacks. Can I just hold this down? Oh, I can just hold it down. But, uh, no. If you guys, you guys tell me, should, should I make a new world for this character? We haven't gotten really, like, near hard mode, so... We haven't really done too much progression in general. We just killed a bunch of bosses. By making a new world, we just have to, like, create a new house. That's really it. And then continue from there. We'll have a bunch of new stuff to see. I don't know. You guys tell me. You guys tell me in the comments. Uh, the ranger. I'm waiting for a specific, specific uh, permission for something. Before I just, you know, do the next world for the ranger character. You guys will see. Well, hopefully you guys will be able to see. Depends what the mod developer says about some certain wink wink uh, Hopefully it happens because it'd be awesome and waiting for this for a while for a good a long while And that's all I can say for now Until the ranger thing comes up. How come he's not summoning in the other dude? Is that an expert mode thing? It is an expert mode thing. So what did I get? I got the magic whip No oh. This doesn't even it just shoots a straight line it doesn't even do anything all right it's all good. We fought that boss. He's out of the way. And we're all good to go. Can I break this? Thank you. Alright, so we still have not defeated Skeletron. So that's something I really got to get to in this episode. Hopefully it will not be a hard task. I'm sure everything is set up here. Yeah, everything looks fine. I will accept all that. But yeah, let's run over to Skeletron. Oh yeah, this is the fastest mountain in the world. Nighttime is here. I don't... I don't know where the NPC is. What the? Hello? Skeletron? Let's use this new beautiful mod. Wow, I can see what's in there. How tremendous is that? Where's the? Where's this man at? There he is. No, what? What? Alright, uh, I guess we'll just get the suspicious skull. And hope from there. So I'm gonna fight him over here just because it'd be easier. Uh, cause I already have an arena pretty much set up. I don't have defense potions still, but whatever. It should be fine. 
I don't know where the NPC is. Uh, this dude has a lot of health. Not strong, but he has a lot of health. What? Alright, let's try this. Uh, Skeletron. There we go. Hey, man, how you doing? Did I beat him already and I just didn't explore the area? That's what I'm gonna guess. Is that I beat him before, I just didn't explore the arena. But why is that still doesn't, like, stop why he's not spawning? Like, shouldn't... I don't know, whatever. Shouldn't... The claw of the air should move in, since I killed him. But why'd that stop the other mod from spawning him, man? That was like five gold to buy that thing. The spawner thing. Spoon, you're in that hand. It should be easy fight either way. So let's just do this. Well, since we did that, I guess we get to explore the dungeon. No. We get to explore the beautiful dungeon. Now, there's the boss from the Thorium mod that we can fight. The, uh... I don't know what it is because I've never fought it. The granite boss, but I think I'll save that for either the new world if I make a new world or I'll save that for the ranger playthrough. We'll see. Uh, let me quickly kill this man. That would have been awesome. Have you guys ever had a boss killed by a star? I think I've had a boss killed by a star once. Get killed by a star once. And is that a new message? That looks like a new message. I don't remember that. And the only boss that I had killed by it was the. Uh, the I Cthulhu. A star just straight up just fell on him. If I'm rem remembering correctly. I can be going fucking crazy for all I know. I can just be speaking out of my ass. But I'm pretty sure that I Cthulhu one time in Vanilla Terraria was killed by a falling star. And it was pretty sweet. That's what I remember. But that can probably be maybe it was a video I watched. I don't know. But from what I remember of stars falling on things, maybe he didn't even kill him. Maybe he lived from it, but I do remember something getting hit from a star. We had a lot of keys. A whole lot of keys. Keys are always useful. Bound mechanic. You know what I can do to you, mechanic? I can make you unbound. That's what I can do to you. I'm not going to do any sexual activities. Why would I do that? Alright, so I'm going to sell this helmet. I'm going to buy this beautiful, beautiful helmet. It represents my character a lot, doesn't it? There's all these uh, chests right here, all these special chests like right off the bat. It's always nice to see. Ooh! Like that grapple. You know what mod I need to install? Max Stacks mod. I haven't used that mod ever. Because I'm scared. Probably in the past I never used it. Not probably. I and mean, in the past I didn't use it because uh, if there was ever a mod error, shit would mess up a whole entire stack of items possibly. Since, uh, I don't know. I just felt like something like that would happen. I'm not 100% sure what would happen. If any mods mess up, but you never know when mods mess up. Mess up. Where T mod loader, a little bug happens. It's all fine. It's some of the some of the things you gotta just deal with when playing a modded game that isn't fully 100% mod supported. And it's all good. Mod support would be dope once that comes out for Terraria. If it comes out, definitely create longevity in the. Uh, the life cycle of this game. Can I hit the man? There you go. Oh, you see that grenade? Did I hit him with that grenade or did the other grenade that I had on the floor hit him? Whatever. No, I'll take this. Hey man, can you just don't shoot stuff at me? Where the hell are the chests at? Aha. Uh -huh. Speak of the chest. I mean, dynamite's always chill, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. Got a whole lot of water bolts. Ooh. Large red slime. Watch out now. Young Shambler? Oh shit. Okay. I gotta look at a bunch of accessories and stuff. See if there's any bosses or any accessories that would benefit this playthrough. When it came to accessories from expert mode stuff. I gotta look into that. Ow. Let me think here. Let me drink that. Get rid of those. Get rid of stuff I don't need. Oh, I actually hit him. No, 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 oh, whatever, he teleported in the same exact spot, so yeah, we'll, we'll use the hunter potion, I don't need these anymore, so just auto trash that, okay, should we go down or up, we'll go down, down first, get the hell out of here, boy, you don't want none of these bombs in your face, it's fun how uh, 
good this character is in early early game or once you get to a certain point in pre hard mode it becomes really fun just like throwing bombs and nearly insta killing most enemies which I have fun with in Terraria it's always fun to you know out tier those enemies that we're doing or giving you troubles and that's why the whole mod revamp happened mod pack revamp happened cause uh, there was a lot of times where I was fighting enemies and I'm like yo I'm not one hitting these guys like I'm supposed to or I'm not doing enough damage to these guys I'm getting my ass beat am I really out of keys already? I thought I picked up tons of them. I only picked up two. Silly game raiders, not knowing how many keys you picked up. Can I get some other keys like, real quick? Oh, I saw a dungeon slime somewhere. I just didn't fucking attack it. What's wrong with me? I should have attacked them. I should have been a ruthless monster and attacked them. Alright, I did pick up a key. I don't remember where the chest was at. The one we were just near. I don't even remember picking up a key, to be honest. I guess I picked one up from a pot. Hello, chess. It'd be nice if I can get some more keys from Pops. That's always the best way to get keys. Oh, shit. How did that guy not even hit me? Oh, God. Go. Quick. I need to get these wings upgraded to that one. Those one set of wings from Calamity. Oh. Everyone chill out. Where's the chest at? Up. Oh. It is up. Oh, my God. I'm already, like, confused. Look at that. Terrible bounce. Oh god. It's all good. Oh no, it worked out. I hit the dark caster down there. I planned that. I knew he was gonna go there. Celestial magic missile. I mean it's not gonna help us, but you know, whatever. Good good money right there. Good money. There we go. We're, we actually got a good bit of weapons here. But I can't wait till we get into pre hard mine and start getting some like, flamethrowers and stuff. I know there's a lot of flamethrowers from Calamity or a good good bit of them. Maybe not a lot. So I've never messed with them yet. But those will be fun to look into. Probably won't use them in the Ranger playthrough then. If I use them here. Which is good. Because we get a variety of weapons in both playthroughs. Who the hell is shooting at me? Can you stop that? Oh, yeah. pew, pew. Damn. Don't have any more. Don't have any more keys. This is my problem down here. I need more keys. So we're thinking to balance each other's playthrough is what armor set I'm gonna wear. Either I can wear those armor sets that are like just default, not default, but they give you like bonuses and like speed and stuff like that. Or I can wear armor that prioritizes on like range damage, throwing damage. But right now the main damage I have going for me is range, not range, uh, throwing damage. So that's what I'm sticking to at least for now, till I get a weapon that can just easily carry me through uh what can i get rid of hold up get away I'm trying to look at what i can get rid of hold up hold up hold up hold up ropes i don't need ropes actually maybe instead of getting rid of ropes i can get rid of uh storms potion how about that? just so i can break the chest oh minotaur I'm your biggest fan, dude. I can't be your biggest fan anymore because you're dead, but just know that I was your biggest fan. Prefixes. I can change a prefix on something. Guess I should do that really quick. Get away! Okay. Uh, prefix, prefix. Let's change the prefix on this. Oh my god, really? Added a mana cost? I mean, it's not bad. At least it does a lot, a lot more damage. I was doing decent damage before though. Alright, so we do have a key. Let's use this key to our advantage. Ow. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage. So let's be careful. Whoa! Another one teleported. As soon as I killed that one. Let's put this stuff in here. Water bolts. Yeah, let's put the water bolts away. Those are kind of cluttering my inventory. Oh shit, dungeon slime? Everyone get out the way. There's a dungeon slime. Oh my god, there's a lot of enemies. Hello, how you guys doing? That was a terrible grenade throw. Hello. Surprised I haven't gotten a banner or anything yet. That would be nice to get. Get past him. Hey, we got past him. Look at that. I finessed my boy. Oh, here we go. Let's open this one. Shit. Oh, I can see what's in it. I don't want that. It's good that we can see what's in them, so maybe I can just, like, instead of opening them blindly, I'll just look what's in them. 
It's not cheating, guys. It's a mod. Come on now. Ooh, there's a bunch of fire arrows in there. I have two keys. I might as well get the one with the fire arrows. I'm looking for a cobalt shield. That's really what I'm looking for. Because with that, we can make the uh, obsidian Cthulhu shield, which is always a nice addition. Anything that gives you a dash with more defense and resistance to lava and every other thing that specific shield gives you, it's always nice to have. Excuse me, Mr. Angry Bones. Okay. We just need to find this fucking shield. And we're good. Addis? Young Addis coming at me? I'm ready to beat some Addis ass. Do some of this on you. Do some of that mana cost marine launcher. I might have to prefix. Actually, it's it's not like we spam this. When do I just hold it on? Like, even if I do spam it, it's not that much being used. Muramasa. No, I've never owned using Muramasa. From what I know, I would use them. Aha! Cobalt shield on deck. Bam! Uh, bam! We got it. Ooh, and we got teleportation potion? Hell yeah, get me out of here. Uh-oh. So what I notice when using teleportation potions, they seem to break your game. <laughs> I don't have a weapon I can use anymore. It's... None of my weapons work. The hell? Please? Please? What about now? Nope. Can't select anything in my hotbar. Can't throw anything out. Huh. So you guys should watch out using teleportation potions. I don't know if it's just me or what, but... That, that kind of sucks. Alright, I remember being told that there's actually a weapon you can make from the stuff we got from the perforator. Blood sample? Was this what we got? I actually don't remember at all. Is this what we got? <laughs> I swear I saw a bunch of crafting recipes. Alright, let's talk to that guy though. But there was a weapon, I was like, oh, this is not an explosive weapon, I can't use it. But then I think somebody told me it was an explosive weapon and I should use it. <laughs> was it the yo yo? The aorta? 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 Sorry if you hear someone talking in the background. Uh, Night's Ray, First Beam, Dark Energy, no. Was it the Vein Burster? It might have been the Vein Burster. Demon Altar, so we need 15, 5, and 5. Easy. Alright, let's get to this. Oh, what the hell? I went way over the area I was supposed to go. Excuse you, sir. Did he not die from that? Damn. My boy. My boy's got health. Get out of here. No, you don't got health anymore. Alright, where are these altars at? Oh, where are these altars at? Hey, I need to start mining this stuff. I really need to get this. Oh, it's like pulsating when I mine it. It's really cool looking. I see you, jungle bat. I see you, army ant. Oh, whoa. Oh. Whoa there. Okay. Look at the ore pulsate when I hit it. It's fucking sweet as hell. Okay, where the heck are these uh, demon altars at, please? Look at that. That's like the face of the golem. Demon altar. Hey. Hello. This better do what I want it to do. That's not exploding. You told me that this explodes, man. Did someone tell me that this explodes? I have no clue to be honest. Is it it doesn't look like it's exploding to me. Hold up. Let's get close up. It doesn't look like it's exploding, it just looks like it's just shooting out blood. I have to look up that comment. Cause I don't remember what weapon it was. I mean, there's kind of like an explosion afterward, if you leave it for a while. Yeah, there's a little like explosion afterward. Hmm. I mean, yeah, that kind of works. It explodes. There's an explosion of some sort. But I don't know, man. This is like borderline not allowed in this playthrough. Whatever. Oh, yeah. This is a great time to fight the Grand Thunderbird while this shit's going on. Okay, I didn't mean to activate all this. Whee! Okay, don't do that. So I'm pretty sure I have not fought the Grand Thunderbird. So might as well fight it now. I mean, what reason? What other reason why I have the flare in my inventory? He's almost dead already. Uh, let's try and use some of this new sword, I guess. Hoo! Okay, this is really hard to use this new sword. Hoo! Doesn't like stick to him. Come on, man. Let me get some of this to stick to you. Oh, he's dead. Well, he put up a great fight. I like to see the fight. 
put up by him. Is there any items we can get early pre hard mode from these uh, events? This sand, 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 what is it? Blizzard? No, <laughs> not a blizzard. Uh, what's it called? Sandstorm, right? I think so. I'm pretty sure it's called a sandstorm. Isn't this a material? It is. These are the least threatening things in the goddamn game. I mean, they do damage. Don't get me wrong. They can, like, after a while, they can do some damage. But, like, it's a tumbleweed. So, before we end off this episode, I want to have a little multiple boss fight here. Let's try and fight three different bosses at once. Not super tough bosses. Not super hard ones. Not super easy ones, is what I meant to say. Because I said super tough already. Hey, that shoe shine shit... That will get you. That will get you ripe. That will get you ripe in the morning. Ripe. I'll make your ass ripe in the morning. Okay. Whatever I need to buff, go ahead buff with. Nothing buffed. It's all good. So let's try and fight all of these guys at once. Three of them? Shouldn't be a problem. Oh my god. Hey, how you doing? Okay, let's see how this turns out. Let us see how this turns out. Three bosses. All the different spectrums on the fucking color wheel. This would probably be something good to use here. We can get the Desert Scourge right out of the way. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Get me off of you. Hey, hey. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that. They're around shimmering with blue lights. That's where the, the ore. What? I don't even know the name of the ore. Sky? Aerial light? There you go. That's where aerial light comes in. So that's good to know. Where'd he go? Why do you teleport down there? <laughs> I don't understand his thinking in this. Hey man. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted when I burst your veins. Come on, walk into all these burstable veins. Ooh. The boy's getting his veins bursted. How do you like this? How do you like your veins being bursted? Alright, I'm just gonna oh my god. There's a whole lot of squishing in my ear. I don't know if I exactly enjoy the squishing. I don't hate it, but I don't enjoy it. Yeah, that was that was that was pretty easy. We're getting we're pretty tough. What the hell is this? What is this? An eye chandelier? Time out, dude. My inventory is fucking full. Holy shit! Look at that. Oh my god! Look at the size of this. Look at the size of this. It's it's magnificent. This is a magnificent thing we got here. Oh, dude, I need to put this somewhere. Who can fit this? Oh, my God, that's terrifying. Do you see this? That's fucking terrifying, George. I'm sorry, but it's terrifying, but really cool at the same time. So, you're going to just have to deal with it for now, George. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, I will, I will, I will deep throat, I will deep throat you later. <laughs>